Hello, and welcome back to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to take a look at another beer from uh, Kizakura, uh, Kyoto Bakushu. And this one is called A Pale Ale, and actually it's a rebranding. Uh, if you look on Rate Beer, you'll see that this beer is marketed as a pale ale, and originally it was marketed as a Kelsch. Uh, which is quite a different style. So we're going to see today what we actually are looking at here. Uh, Kizakura is a brewery that uh, has a long history as a sake brewer, and they're located in the Fushimi district uh, uh, of South Kyoto, a very famous area for making uh, sake. And they started making their uh, craft beer line in around 19, 1995, here, and the quality was not very good for a long time. Uh, recently they have done some expansion and they've been putting out a, a larger variety of, of uh, beers and beer styles here. So today we're going to take a look at the second of their four main styles that they put out. Uh, you find these everywhere. Not, not exactly everywhere, but a lot of places. And uh, this beer is a five percenter. Uh, it has 44 ratings on rate beer and a, an average of 2.74 for uh, out of five and a percentile ranking of 16 percent uh, uh, for all beers on rate beer and 19 for beers in the style which is listed as a Kelsch and this they claim as a pale ale again uh, <clears throat> the uh, administrators of Rate Beer feel that this is a simply a rebranding of their original Kelsch style. Um, shall we give it a go? <clears throat> okay, so this pours out a kind of hazy, hazy dull uh, maybe blonde amber and can't quite see myself through it here and a thick maybe two fingers of foam here on the top not much lacing at all fairly slick it does have a rather fruity aroma I get maybe pears, apple, some breadiness perhaps, sugar. Light fruit, some yeast, a little lemony sourness perhaps, yeah. Very mild. Bitterness from mid palate, and a kind of a dry finish here. Um, thin, medium body. Now, I have to say, I feel that this is neither a pale ale nor a Kelsch. Um, it definitely has the, the maltiness of a lager. I'm sorry, the maltiness of an ale and uh, somewhat of the clean lines of a lager, perhaps. But it doesn't seem to be either one here. So this is kind of a mystery. Um, yeah, uh, tell you what, you find this somewhere, you sample it. You come back and say, make some comment here. You tell me what you think this is. Uh, is it a pale ale? Is it a Kelsch? And let's solve this mystery, okay? Or is it neither? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I have to get in touch with the uh, brewery and find out what they really think it is or what they really intend it to be here. Again, on the can it says pale ale, but uh, it's listed as a rebranding of a Kelsch. Here. And so give it a try, please, when you happen to find this and let me know what you think. Okay, 
That's it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.